Hey my fire signs and welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you like the vibe, you like the content, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It is greatly appreciated. This is your weekly energy update. So anywhere from the 8th of August through about the 15th, this is for you. Cross watchers are welcome here as well. Keep in mind, you guys, these readings are very general, so it may or may not resonate with you. Please don't make it fit. Just take what does resonate with your situation and leave behind what does not. With that being said, be sure that you watch the message in full so that you can pick up on all the little bits and pieces that pertain to you. All right, so let's see. Um, we're going to do the readings a little bit different this week. Let's start out with some tarot cards for my fire signs. Like the video, you guys. Share, subscribe. The more you interact with the content here on the channel, the more I am able to channel what's going on with you, your particular situation, okay? So let's see, Spare. What do we have for my fire signs for this week? Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. What do we have for my fire signs? overall energy page of swords okay um so this could be your energy or this could be the energy of someone in regards to you the page of swords is the energy of someone watching you kind of sitting back keeping an eye on you observing or again you doing this in a situation in regards to someone else could be a gemini libra aquarius but it does not have to be now behind that we have the page of cups okay so there could be a cancer pisces or scorpio in the mix here um, two pages, something about children is also popping up. If you have children, they are definitely showing up here in the week for you. Okay. Something about, um, yeah, something's definitely going on with your children. If you have children, cause behind the page of cups, we also have the Empress card. Okay. The page of cups for me is the energy of someone who takes, okay. Like a taker, they take more than they give or someone who is greedy or kind of just draining inconsiderate in regards to other people's feelings, emotions, um, or in love or however you want to put it. But with the Empress and the page here, there's something for sure going on with children. So I don't know if you have children. Um, if you are feminine energy, this Empress could be you showing up here. Okay. Even though it's Libra Taurus energy or the Empress energy could be the energy of the child, the mother of your child or father of your child, however you want to flip it. Okay. Um, but behind that, we have five of swords and we have justice and ace of cups. Okay. So it kind of feels like um, this person, right? So if you do have children, this is the mother or father of your child. Or if this is just your mother or a motherly figure here, there's something going on with a feminine energy outside of yourself if you're feminine and watching this. It feels like this person is very combative, kind of sort of like out to get some sort of justice they feel as if they deserve, okay? Or they feel as if they deserve something from you. But this person is kind of like willing to do anything and everything to kind of get their way or serve you justice is what I'm hearing here. Somebody's trying to cause a conflict um, in your love life or in your happiness. But let's see. What do we have for my fire signs? Three of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. King of Wands. Here you are showing up right in the heart of your own reading. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You guys could be working on um, some sort of home situation, an actual home. It kind of feels like things are going smoothly for you in the workplace or your money looks really good with the three of pentacles and the ten of pentacles here. It feels like um, it feels like you guys are feeling on top of your game this week. We got the nine of swords and we got the queen of pentacles. Hmm. So somebody here is um somebody here is going through some sort of like mental confliction here. Something is bothering. There's a situation that's bothering either you or someone else. This Queen of Pentacles is showing up here. So it could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn in the picture here. Let's see. Let's clarify. What's the Three of Pentacles? Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Two of Swords. 
another page, page of pentacles, three of swords. So I'm feeling the energy of new beginnings here as well. A lot of new beginnings, a lot of new things are taking place or you're kind of initiating new things or kind of getting something in order this week in alignment. Definitely money showing up here. Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. If you've been struggling with a home situation or if you've been struggling financially, I feel like that's going to come to an end for you guys this week. And then with the Two of Swords and the King of Wands clarifying each other, there's definitely some sort of cho choice here um, that you guys are making. You're cutting something out or you're, again, you're, you're making some sort of choice here to move forward. Page of Pentacles and Three of Swords. I don't feel like this is your energy. It feels like there's a Virgo Taurus Capricorn that is somehow attached to you, right? Um, or even if it's not an earth sign, this is somebody who's very reliable, someone who is very stable, someone who for the most part appears as if they had their life together or as if things are kind of going well for them. Um, but this person is broken. There's something going on in the life of this individual where they are feeling heartbroken, um, dissatisfied, disappointment. They're kind of trying to heal through whatever this three of swords is. It kind of feels like you guys are, um, this could be a family member for some of you guys. And it kind of feels like maybe you intuitively are picking up that this person is struggling or is going through some sort of hardship. It definitely feels very emotion. It feels like you can almost feel what this other individual is feeling. Okay, what else? Hangman, High Priestess, Seven of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. So the Seven of Swords is in the middle with you and you're cutting out whatever this deception is. Or it's kind of like somebody, I keep getting the energy of someone who is either really doing a good job at pretending everything is okay, but it's not, or they're hiding something. They're like hiding some sort of burden or something. And it's almost as if you can see straight through this person. Okay. So I kind of feel like you guys are in the energy of being like a protector or wanting to nurture whoever this is, um, wanted to be some sort of comfort to this person. Okay, there's somebody here that's going through a loss or a heartache or a, um, a breakup here with this nine of pentacles and the queen of pentacles, definitely still picking up on earth energy. Your intuition is for sure telling you something about someone like it's not, it's not as as easy or as pleasant at, or as okay as someone is making it seem. Three of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, and the Hangman. Yeah, somebody is for sure keeping something to them, themselves. They're hiding something. Somebody's hiding some sort of pain and it almost feels like you are so in tune with this person or connected to this person or maybe just surrounded or in the environment of this person that you can pick up on it. Okay, so let's see what the Psychic Oracle deck has to say for you guys. That was pretty interesting. I mean, the reading, you showed up here in this part of the reading, but it's almost as if someone else is taking over your energy um, or taking over your mind or you're concerned about someone else this week. Okay, so let's see. We got triumphant success at the bottom of the deck here. Um, something about sacrifice, something about a struggle, something about the truth as well. Maybe you're finding out the truth in the situation. Wisdom, you're becoming enlightened about what somebody um, close to you. It feels like somebody you care for is going through. I'm actually kind of feeling a little bit emotional as I'm doing this reading so i don't know if that's your energy or if that's the energy of someone you know in your environment or somebody that you care about but it's coming up very strong let's see what do we have for my fire sign spirit what's going on it feels like you guys are very concerned like something is invading your energy all right so we got destiny or you're very concerned about somebody or something else 
We got wisdom, truth, temptation. Let's get one more. And we got intuition. So what did I say? It's almost as if you're learning some sort of truth or you're becoming enlightened here, right? Truth is in the, in the heart of your reading for this part of the spread. Temptation and intuition. At the bottom of the deck, we have transformation. Okay, so death and rebirth. Something is definitely transforming for you guys. Um, it's tied to your purpose. It's tied to your life purpose, your destiny. I'm picking up on the energy of like um, information. So I don't know if you're researching something or if you're trying to learn a new skill or it's kind of like you're digging into something. You're trying to get information. You're trying to get the truth out of a person or in regards to a situation here. Devil and intuition. Intuition showing up twice. Like your intuition, you guys are very in tune. So somebody could be telling you one thing this week, but you know intuitively you know the truth or you know it's a lie or you know it's not exactly what you know what's going on or this is someone how they feel in regards to you okay throat chakra yeah solitude somebody's you could be feeling very distant this week or it just feels like somebody is very distant from you new beginnings this feels like somebody else's energy somebody in your environment somebody you care about is going through a transformation they're going they're handling a lot right now um, and it feels very overwhelming. I don't know why I feel like I want to cry. All right, let's see. What does the energy deck have to say? So we have the sun card at the bottom of the deck. This is your energy. Um, it is Leo or Virgo. Virgo is actually, actually showing up very heavily in the first part of the spread and this part of the spread with solitude. Okay. Um, so you could be dealing with, again, an earth sign or a Virgo. Let's see. I'm also kind of feeling that you guys are um, kind of like you guys are in a position of like a mentor this week or someone who like an advisor or just a, a confidant um, in regards to nurturing or kind of just helping someone get through some sort of hardship in their life and giving someone advice. Someone could be coming to you for advice or you just kind of intuitively pick up on the fact that this person needs um someone or a shoulder to to lean on somebody to talk to here let's see it kind of feels like this week you guys have an assignment and your assignment is to help out whomever this is you might be aware of who it is you might not but we have the seat and we have hostility showing up we got the temptation card um somebody could i want to say somebody could be in danger but not necessarily danger it just kind of feels like there's something that they are dealing with that they're having a hard time coping with let's see what's going on with my fire signs aries leo sagittarius okay so we got the magician and the mirror what else spirit okay so the deceit card came right back out now, this could be a self-deception, okay? Or this could be, again, someone else who is deceiving you, trying to deceive you, or just has on, like, some sort of false mask, pretending everything is okay, but it's not. Um, it could be a lot of different things for you guys. It's different for everyone watching this. Truth, and then we have action. You guys are, like, on a mission to find out the truth in a situation here, okay? Or to kind of resolve some sort of issue, Financial constraints with temptation. Some sort of lack or some sort of loss. Let's see what else comes out. Appreciation. Yeah, it's kind of like you guys are, um, you could be a feminine energy, but it's kind of like you're mothering someone this week or you're fathering someone this week. You're kind of just being that person. This could be someone that's younger than you. Um, this could be a family member, a friend, anything like that. But your intuition is kind of pulling you towards someone, letting you know that they need you in some sort of way here. They need some sort of comfort here. We got patience at the bottom of the deck with transformation. So I feel like you are just very helpful um in regards to helping someone else get through something this week here let's see what else do we have for my fire sign spirit aries leo sagittarius 
it's almost as if you're helping someone pull themselves together here somebody who um has lost hope and this can definitely be you but it feels like this is someone else's energy but this could be your energy and someone there's someone here possibly another fire sign or just someone in general or an earth sign that's kind of helping you pull through whatever you're going through or helping you through this transformation what else do we have spirit Okay, so we got the Queen of Cups. It could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. And we got the, the High Priestess coming right out here. Pisces energy. A lot of you guys um, are very wise in regards to whoever this Pisces is. You know this person is very deceptive. Okay, it could be a mother. Heavy feminine energy showing up in your reading for you guys this week. We got the justice card. Yeah, truth, action, and justice. Something could be going on with legalities or, again, there's some sort of truth that you are seeking to, like, get the answer to or some sort of news or enlightenment or truth that's um, kind of falling in your lap this week, okay? It feels like it's going to give you justice. Then we got the world card in the reverse. Somebody is just feeling like their world is upside down. Somebody has lost something here or just be mindful, careful that this is not you um, being tempted in any type of way. You guys, if your intuition is telling you um, that something is not right, then not, not, ugh, I can't even talk. If your intuition is telling you that something is not the right decision to, to make or to not trust somebody, I'm kind of feeling like, something about gambling gambling your money away gambling your life away i kind of feel like there's something here that you may kind of take a leap into but your intuition was kind of warning you beforehand and it could end up in you losing some sort of finances okay or just kind of taking a step back in progress let's get one more that was the death and rebirth card that wanted to come out. Okay, and now we have the eight of wands in the reverse. What's the eight of wands? What's the eight of wands? Ten of wands. Somebody is walking away. This is a very weird energy, eight of wands, or somebody's not communicating here. Okay, so maybe you're picking up on that somebody, that either this is you or you're able to tell that someone is going through something um, because they are not communicating or at least not communicating the way they normally would. Very confusing energy here. Seven of cups. Let's get one more. Okay, this wants to come out. And then the eight of pentacles. Something about work or finances or a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. At the bottom of the deck, we have six of pentacles. More Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Um, but it feels like you guys are giving back. It feels like you are a big help to somebody this week. Almost as if somebody is very close to being tempted to do the wrong thing or just kind of fall into this dark energy and you are able to see it when no one else is okay or someone is able to be that person for you let's wrap this up you guys i want to kind of pull um three cards from the divine doors deck to see what's going on any extra messages that you could take with you for this week what do we have for my fire signs aries leo sagittarius what do we have for my fire sign spirit okay Y'all got patience showing up again. Something about patience here. All right. So we have the Odyssey. It says, take in the beauty of country lands and botany. Explore the wonder like a gypsy traveler's odyssey. It kind of feels like you're trying to uplift someone. You're trying to encourage someone. Like this is just, it's not the end of the world. Or, you know, however you are, whatever words of comfort you are using, you could be kind of getting someone out the house or taking them on a trip or like a date or something like that just to kind of um, revamp their energy and kind of get them out of this low vibration. Next, we have patience. Everything soon will come to light and then you will see things will be all right. Yeah, you're trying to really encourage someone here. Um, that things will be okay or someone is trying to encourage you that things will be okay and get you out of the house and get you out of this funk 
We have 1111, numbers and doubles, synchronicity and two. Don't hold back your love now. Life is meant for you. Yeah, I keep getting the energy of encouraging, like you are being that comfort, that support system for someone. At the bottom of the deck, we have time here turns to release and unfurl. Old cords of pain fade as the sunlight burns, okay? So sunset, something is closing out. Um, it feels like someone's just really going through a heavy transitional period. A lot of things could be going on in their life right now, or they're just kind of struggling, dealing with something, okay? Um, and it feels like you are the right person to help see this person through or some of the signs, some of the energies that I've mentioned is the right person for you to help see you through. So I'm going to leave it here. Please like the video, you guys, share and subscribe, and I will see you next time.